अभी मैं ओल्ड फोर्ट नाइगरा के एंट्रेंस गेट पे हूँ चलते हैं अंदर टिकट्स बाय करने टिकट्स मुझे पंद्रह डॉलर पर पर्सन पड़ा टिकट्स मैंने बाय कर लिया है लेट्स गो टू सी द फोर्ट बिकॉज आई डिड नॉट बॉर्न बॉटअप इन यू एस सो आई डो नॉट नो द हिस्ट्री ऑफ दिस फोर्ट आई चेक ऑन गूगल एंड फाउंड ये फोर्ट फ्रेंच ने बनवाया था जब वो अमरीका पे रूल कर रहे थे दिस फोर्ट हैज सिग्निफिकेंट रोल इन फ्रेंच एंड इंडियन वार ये हमारा वाला इंडिया नहीं रेड इंडियंस है जिन्हें नेटिव अमेरिकन भी कहा जाता है आई एम गुड हावर यू आज वेदर बहुत ही विंडी है डेट्स वाई माइक इज कैप्चरिंग लॉट ऑफ नॉइज ये तो मुझे टेबल टेनिस रूम लग रहा है विथ बार मे बी फ्रेंच एट दैट टाइम यहाँ मदिरा पीते होंगे जस्ट किडिंग ये आ गया एरिया विच माइट बी यूज टू अटैक एनिमीज Let me show you the broad view of entire fort. Now I am going in the barrel room, जहाँ पे बारूद रखा जाता था Welcome to the powder magazine. This building was constructed by the French in 1757 as part of a two-year expansion program that transformed Fort Niagara from small frontier outposts to one of the most formidable fortresses in 18th century North America. The design of the enlarged fort and the powder magazine itself was based on European models. While many powder magazines in North America were constructed at least partially underground, Fort Niagara's new magazine was built entirely above ground to lessen the chance of the gunpowder becoming damp. Load the remainder of the gunpowder down the barrel with the paper. Uh, since the musket ball is much smaller than the barrel. paper serves another purpose if i was firing off the wall or the tower the musket ball actually could roll out the paper now is going to wrap around the musket ball and hold it in place take out my ramrod if this was a rifle barrel i would be hammering that down to take me about a minute to reload remove my ramrod cuz i don't want to fire that turn that pop it up and i'm ready to go commands are going to be make ready aim i'm going to pause and fire so if you want to plug your ears when you hear the word aim you can plug your ears now 
we are going to the next fort which is made by French. So that's a brief history of the fort. Very quickly the rooms. I'm not going to go with you, I'll let you wander. But the room that you came in through, that's the lower guard room. When soldiers were on guard duty, they were on guard duty for 24 hours. But when they got their break, that's where they could hang out. Not very comfortable because even though they were on break, they're still on duty. So you have to be ready to go. The room across the hall over here is the most important room because that's the trade room. I told you that's why the French came here and built this place to trade with the Native Americans. So what you'll see on the shelves in there are European items that the French and the British out east would have traded with Native Americans. The most traded for item in there, kids all think, ah, muskets, yeah, tomahawks, ah, it's fabric. Isn't that boring? Fabric. Native Americans didn't have any fabric before European. We forget that. We always think about bows and arrows and muskets and all that sort of stuff. But just plain old fabric. Pots and pans Native Americans did have. So those are the items that you'll see that they would have traded for in there. Down at the end of this hallway, there's a small powder magazine. And some people say to me, well, why do they need a powder magazine here? You got that great big huge one over there. Well, that was 1756. Remember this building, 1726. So we had to have some place to store their powder before then. The water well, and when you look at it from the edge, it looks like a barbecue, but it's not. It's a water well that the French had put in here. There's a boulangerie or bakery back in that corner because when the French were here, their rations consisted of about a pound of salted meat. It depended whether it was pork or beef. And, and if the shipment arrived from Montreal, there's another thing for you. They got about a pound of salted meat and about a half a pint of dried peas. Those they would cook in their rooms. They would make a peas porridge. But they got about a pound of bread a day. High carbohydrate, high energy, fill up the soldiers with bread. Well, 60 men living in here certainly all couldn't use the oven in that room at one time. So the French actually had a baker, and he baked the bread for the men. So that's what the boulangerie or bakery is, and that's that room back there. Up over here, we have a chapel. Up over here, second floor up there, is the barracks where the men live when they weren't on guard duty. Now here's what I tell kids, when you go up there, think about what you have in your house. You probably have a bedroom, you probably have a bathroom, you probably have a kitchen, you probably got a dining room, maybe not, everybody sits in the living room and eats in front of the TV nowadays, but at least some sort of living room, right? Now for a French soldier here, 1726, take all four of those rooms, that's it up there. That room, when you, when you walk in there and take a look at it, try to find the kitchen, the dining room, the living room, the bedroom, you won't find the bathroom because the bathroom was a special barrel that they had in one corner and we don't have that up there. But other than that, that's where a French soldier spent most of his life. The rooms across the back on the second floor, those are all for the officers and artisifers. Artisifers were specialists like the baker, the blacksmith, the cooper that made barrels. So those guys all had their individual barracks across the back. So you've got Enlisted men's rooms, you've got a kitchen, you've got a well, you've got a powder magazine, you've got the officer's barracks. You know what this is? This is a very well-defined, concealed fortification. The Native Americans told the French they could build a trade house here, but you can't build a fort. So this is what the French did. They built this place. You know, when you're outside and take a look at it, it looks like just a big stone house. But if you look up on the roof, those dormers, they all stick out by two feet. That's called machicolation. And by having that, you can shoot at the bad guys down below. Abhi, jo yahan ke tour guide ne is fort ke baare mein information diya, jise sunte sunte maybe aap bored ho gaye honge. Main abhi us fort ke room mein hu.
मेरा ये फ्रेंड सैनिकों का बेडरूम है मुझे तो कुछ इतना समझ में आ नहीं रहा है पर देखने से ऐसा लग रहा है दीज ऑल आर बेडरूम्स ये चैपल रूम है फॉर प्रेयर एंड वर्सिप Welcome to the upper guard room, the Garde du Corps. The French soldiers who lived here in the early 1750s were part of the independent companies of the Navy, Les Compagnies Flash de la Marine. The fort's small garrison of 30 to 40 men protected French interests in the Niagara region, including the highly competitive fur trade. Most recruits for the independent companies came from France, where they signed a contract for a minimum six-year enlistment. Soldiers were supposed to be at least 16 years old, but many recruiters back in the days would accept younger men. Most recruits joined to gain employment. A few sought to escape the law. Service had a frontier. Fort say, man, I saw my friends खेल रहे हैं मैं भी भाग के आ गया खेलने के सामने जो टाउन है वो कनाडा का टोरंटो है पहले तो वाटर देख के मुझे लगा कि ये ओशियन है बट देन आई गेट टू नो दिस इज ऑन्टेरियो रिवर दिस इज द नाइस प्लेस टू टेक फोटोज यहाँ कुछ फोटोज खींच लेते हैं इंस्टाग्राम के लिए Thank you. The view of the lake up there is really beautiful. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a lake or or ocean? This is a lake. Yeah. Oh, it's a lake. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. The Great Lakes, um, which includes Lake Ontario over yeah. here, are big enough that if uh, they were salt water, they'd yeah. be considered seas. Okay, okay. And okay. what do you, uh, what we are seeing? Are to ask high that? buildings. That's Canada, right? Yes, that is Canada. That's oh. Toronto that you oh, see across Toronto. the way. ये फोर्ट रिवर फेसिंग फोर्ट है जो माइट भी यूज किया जाता होगा एनमीज पे अटैक करने के लिए जो रिवर के थ्रू इंटर करते होंगे मुझे एग्जैक्टली exactly नहीं पता जस्ट गेसिंग ले लेते हैं इंस्टाग्राम के लिए ऑलमोस्ट सारा फोर्ट्स कवर कर लिया है नाउ वी आर लिविंग दिस प्लेस दिस इज द यूएस कोस्ट गार्ड बेस 
ये जो रिवर है उसके इस साइड यूएसए है एंड अदर साइड कनाडा यहाँ यूएसए में ऑलमोस्ट एवरी अट्रैक्शन की अपनी गिफ्ट शॉप होती है मैं जिस भी अट्रैक्शन पे जाता हूँ वहाँ से मैं मैग्नेट बाई करता हूँ फॉर माय कलेक्शन थ्री डे रोड ट्रिप टू नाइगरा फॉलेज ओवर ओल्ड फोर्ट से न्यू जर्सी 656 किलोमीटर है जिसे कवर करने में अराउंड सेवन आवर्स लगेंगे अभी चार बज रहे हैं मैं अराउंड 11 पीएम घर पे पहुंचूंगा। लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक द कंटेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब टू सपोर्ट दिस चैनल and press bell icon to get notification when i upload new video thank you for watching this video see you in the next video